The future is certainly amazing when you step into tomorrow with us. And we're talking to as many exhibitors here at SeaTech that we can possibly get on the program. Epson Toyocom is a leader in the design and manufacture of crystal-based electronic products. We're going to find out what that means and what the whole crystal end of things is with the manager of sales engineering for Epson Toyocom, Miyazawa Takishi. Did I, did I get your name right? Yes. Sir. Ah, very good, Miyazawa. Welcome nice to, to the program. Thanks yes. for spending a few minutes with us. I uh, want to find out uh, what you're showing here at SeaTech. And, of course, yes. we'll talk about crystal-based electronics. Yes, that's right. Uh, we have the three categories of the crystal products. Uh, one is the timing devices for the clock using for the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. The second is the sensing devices, for example, the gyro sensor or pressure sensors. The number three is the optical devices for the using the camera or small devices. Yes. Ah, okay. Now you brought with with you uh, to the broadcast booth here a yeah. crystal uh, that uh, that I'm showing you. And Derek's going to zoom in. Now this is some uh, some device or a, a piece of crystal like yes. you would use in some of your technology. Yes. Okay, uh, I'm this is a we have material. so many cameras, I don't know which one to show it to. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now, what might this crystal be yes. used for, or how would we then utilize it? Yes. Uh, so for the easy to understand, for the explanation, is that just only the small cutting, the small devices become from these materials. Then, using for the any etching for the electrolyte uh -huh. and supply the electrical power, then vibration and get a timing or something signals. So that's where then this piece of crystal can become used in a timing device or yes, or otherwise device. some sensor. Yes, one, right. one of the things uh, that I, I understand you're talking about here at SeaTech is a gyro sensor yes. for in-dash navigation system. Yes, that's right. Now how would the crystal help that? Okay, the crystal is using for the chips inside of the gyro sensor, sensor chips. So sensor chips, the vibration, the uh, navigation is uh, required to the uh, direction uh -huh. of the uh, navigation uh, for the automotive. So the chip is a uh, detect the angular speed for the go to the right side or go to the left side. Really? Yes. So some of the, uh, as you know, uh, the car navigation is required to the GPS signal, you know. Right. But some of the location, for example, the uh, under the tunnel or uh, urban canyon situation. So that's true. If it, ca if it doesn't have access to the satellite, yes, yeah. yes. so, this so is that's a, where the yes. crystal then comes in handy to determine with vibration yes. and direction and so forth if it's still going yes. forward or turning left or turning right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detection. Detection. Yes, detection by the characteristic of the crystals. Gotcha. Uh, is it available in navigation systems yes, now? Yes, we release already new products of the navigation navigation devices for our company, from our company. Really? From, from Epson Toyota? Yes, Epson Toyota. Okay. Well, then what else are you working on that might ultimately benefit consumers then? Sorry. Uh, you're you're working on other similar products uh, that might benefit consumers that are using yes, cri with using course. crystal technology. Yes, because, uh, d for example, the timing devices with high accuracy mm -hmm. and small packages, and sensing devices the more sensitivity. Yes, optical device more clear. Uh, pictures. Yes. Now, does it make products more expensive to use crystal or less expensive <laughs> in, in the manufacturing process? Yes. Uh, more expensive? No, so make no? expensive. Yes. Okay. Yes. So then, this we we would see more use of crystal mm -hmm. in future products. Yes, we want to release for the all of the market of the electrical for oh. the crystal products. Okay. Well, then, good luck to you. Oh, it's, thank it's, you very it's much. interesting. I've I've never interviewed someone talking about a crystal mm -hmm. in electronics before. Sure. So that's very yeah. good. Okay. And of course, the website EpsonToyocom.co.jp for Japan. We're here in Japan. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Miyazawa, for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. It's very our much. pleasure. All three hours of today's Into Tomorrow broadcast, of course, available at Graveline.com or IntoTomorrow.com. If you should miss any of our interviews from SeaTech Japan, be sure and swing by our website and get more information. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow at Graveline.com and the Advanced Media Network.